Hi, and welcome to another night of homework. Hope that you have been enjoying the videos. Tonight we'll be estimating decimal sums and differences. So if you take a look at number one, the first number is three and 39 hundredths. So if we put that on a number line, the first number is three. The number directly after three is four. Our benchmark is three and a half. So if I look in the middle, three and 39 hundredths is more than three, but less than three and a half. So when I round it, it's closer to the three. So it rounds off to three. Now let's look at four and 58 hundredths. The first number is four. That means the next number is five. The benchmark in the middle is four and a half. Four and 58 hundredths is greater than four and a half. So that means it's closer to the five. So that rounds off to five. So three plus five, the estimate is eight. Take a look at number five. A subtraction problem works the same way. We have seven and 36 hundredths. The first number is seven. The first number is seven. The next number is eight. The benchmark in the middle is seven and a half. Seven and 36 hundredths is less than seven and a half, so it is closer to being seven. 83 hundredths, that's gonna be in between zero, zero, and one whole. In the middle is five tenths, or one half. So 83 cent is more than 50 cent, so 83 cent is closer to being one whole, so I'll do seven minus one, and that gives me six. All right, now let's compare. So during the comparing problems, we'll just use front end estimation. So I'll use the front end of this is gonna be eight. The front end of this is gonna be two. Eight plus two is 10. The front end of this is three. The front end of this is five. Three plus five is eight. 10 is greater than eight, so Pac-Man would eat the eight. It works the same for a subtraction. We'll use front end estimation again. So that means I'll just use the seven and the three. Seven minus three is four. Front end estimation, I'll use the nine. Nine, I'll use the four, four. Nine minus four is five. Pac-Man should eat the five. Okay, now for problem solving. The question, the question is, what is the distance that he travels in the first half of the race? Round it to the nearest hundredth. So now let's look at our facts. Lily is running a race around the school track. He runs 327 thousandths kilometers during the first half of the race. So if I put that in my place value chart, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousandths, the three goes in the tenths, the two in the hundreds, the seven in the thousandths. I want to round to the nearest hundredth, so I underline the hundredth, circle the thousandths, Five or more raise the score so that two becomes a three. Please complete the remaining problems. Have a good night.